we keep saying it that the next war is not about war of tanks, not war about anything, but the war about the cyber. It's war in the cyberspace. And that cyberspace has to do with content. The content we put in is one thing that will be given to us. It's a garbage in, garbage out kind of thing. So for us in the media, I'm taking this as a feedback also from what has been said today, that we need to prepare our generation coming. And the media has to play a critical role to do that. And I also want to appeal to every educationist here, every innovator here, every scientist here, that we have to do everything possible to see that the future of our youth are secured. By doing that, it's by being deliberate. If government is, 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 is slow, is don't blame them because that is the nature of government. Or always, innovation will always come before regulation. So government is waiting for us to come up with innovation before they can regulate. They can also regulate what you don't understand. Remember, you see what is happening with the crypto, crypto in the crypto space. The government will come the next morning, they say, okay, we are going to play. The next morning, they say no, because they, young, they don't understand it. But the young people who understood it are making uh, something out of it. So I want to encourage us not, not to be discouraged because government will always come to us to accept, to, uh, to agree with us that need for us to do this. So AI and ML are few tools we cannot dodge, are things we cannot keep in the background. We must use them to, to, push, to, to position our children to face the future. Because as a global village, we can't play or we can't wink in the dark anymore. We, the, the, the economy of the world will also fish us out. We can't hide. We have the potentials. We have seen what our young people are doing when they travel abroad and what they can do. It means that at home, we need to pre prepare them for those things so that when they go at com competitions, when they go abroad, they perform better and even our economy will benefit from it. So we, we, nobody can limit us anymore. Technology has become a leveler. Nobody can say that oh, um, my state is, 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 is disadvantaged or we don't have resources. Technology has become a leveler. It has become a leveler in the sense that what states should pursue now is things that will bring about innovation in their own states. Their citizens don't need to travel abroad to, be, to build e-commerce, to, to participate in e-commerce. You can stay in the comfort of your home and participate in e-commerce. These are things that technology can help us to do. So, but it has to be deliberate.